Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I want to talk about a new Warframe weapon called the Lens. This dropped on the PC the other day. You console users should be seeing it shortly. This is a new bow, and I love bows in Warframe. I, I tend to favor the Ratkatsernos, as well as the Almighty Dread, the weapon that drops from Mr. Stalker. Uh, but this lens is pretty interesting. It's one of the few bows I've seen that has a CC capability in the form of its arrow uh, effects. Let me read what this says. It says, bows from this corpus bow deliver a one-two punch of an icy pulse, followed by a conventional explosion. Excess ammo picked up from other weapons will be converted into charges for the lens. Warning, safety protocols do not exist on this prototype. Yeah, take that warning take that warning seriously because they ain't joking so essentially what this weapon does is that it fires an arrow which does a aoe kind of a bubble slow and then it explodes after that and on paper that sounds absolutely amazing and uh let me show you what i think about it and uh how it fits into practice uh and uh what things i recommend using it with and not Okay, let's talk about the build that I decided to use with this. Uh, since it comes with a massive amount of critical chance, 50% and 5% uh, status as a base, I decided to go with a typical build for crit. And uh, since this thing already has impact uh, damage innate to it and cold damage, so you're going to get some, uh, some blast damage as a result. And we already talked about the explosion that happens. So I decided to add some corrosive to this just because I love corrosive damage. I use it just about everywhere, even though it doesn't apply everywhere. I just tend to use it. In a lot of places uh, i decided to put stormbringer infected clip vial acceleration is a must if you're going to be using this bow by default by default the, the 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 wind up time and the drawback time is extremely long so you need to have speed trigger or vial acceleration or some sort of a bow multiplier on here otherwise it's not going to be as fun i think it was actually a, a 10 times worse without vile acceleration. Malignant force, serration, heavy caliber, vital sense, and high voltage to round out the build. Your typical build, this, this is seen elsewhere. I think this reminds me what I did on my Dread and what I have on my Rack Concernos as well. Uh, I, I plan to try an impact build, maybe just go full in with the blast damage and see how that fares. But for the purposes of this video, I went with this corrosive build. Now the bow does have a few uh, options for glamor, for some, uh, for some fashion frame, you can put the bow dryad skin on there if you wish, but I prefer the look of it itself. And uh, like most bows, you have arrow skins to use. I opted to go for the Katir arrow skin because I like the trail that that one leaves the most. So you'll be happy to know that all the bow cosmetics work with uh, this new bow. Okay, let me first say that uh, this thing is really awesome. I love the bow. Uh, it's in contention for one of my favorites because when it works, it works really well. Uh, but I find that it is uh, something that can be a double-edged sword. As the warning said that this thing does not it ignores all safety protocols and that means that you can kill yourself and uh that i can't i can't stress that enough one of this one of the things about this bow is that you're gonna have a good time you're gonna be shooting guys you're gonna you're gonna be slowing them at the same time they're gonna explode it's one of the more satisfying bows in the game especially on defense and stationary missions and outdoorsy type stuff but indoors let me tell you indoors you, you you gotta be mindful of where you are and how you use your stuff now i was i was purposely trying to use the bow uh on some of the indoor maps and stuff i was like all right let me show this bow off use it as much as possible and i end up killing myself more often than not uh in tightly tight corridors and tight areas what you want to do is you want to probably switch to a primary or a secondary and take out the mobs that way otherwise it's, it's just going to be weird it's going to be one of those things that that's going to hurt you in the long run so I found that using the bow in open areas and defense and, and things like that is probably my choice. If I'm going to be doing excavation, defense, or, or an outdoorsy map with a lot of room, or something where I can look down on a point and you know protect the horde, or protect the point as it's coming in, maybe mobile defense and something like that. I think I would use this bow in those cases. In other cases, though, uh, I would probably opt for the Rakasernos or even the Dread because uh, this bow can kill you, especially in tightly. In, in tight corridors i mean you'll be aiming at something all it takes is a mob to jump in your face especially infested they'll just jump in your face and lo and behold you are dead you are dead and and this thing will one shot you in, in no time um i found out that i was getting myself killed quite a bit by that scenario another scenario i would get killed by is when the mobs some of the mobs will knock you forward or backwards and uh they're pretty smart i don't know if they're doing it on purpose 
But I would shoot an arrow. It would have a bubble. It would have a bunch of guys in it. And all of a sudden, I would get propelled into that bubble and then die. And I was just looking back going, okay, well played, mobs. Well played. I don't know if they did it on purpose or what. But I got to say, guys, the bow is very satisfying. I like it a lot. I'm going to be experimenting a little bit more. But it's going to be a situational thing. I'm not going to be using this as much as I use the Rat Concernos or the Dread because I think this one is more about crowd control, AOE, and bigger spaces. If you use this thing indoors, you know, it's an occupational hazard. This is one from One.TV. These are my thoughts on the, on the, the new bow, the Lens. The Lens, the new Corpus bow, is a very cool design, very cool idea. But be careful because you might just shoot yourself. Take care, guys. Have a good day.